For those who purchased something other than a Sega Genesis. Yeah. Okie dokie, we're gonna start in a couple minutes here. We're gonna play some Dragon Quest One on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I think it's a port probably from like the iOS or Android version. Um, but the idea is I haven't played through this game uh, probably in 20 years or so. And I played it on the original NES. And I think the first time I was ever able to beat it, I had to use Game Genie for it because I was very little. But uh, yeah, we know that the the third game's getting the HD, 2D HD treatment later on this year. So we will go through the first two on here. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to get set up on the back end here and make sure the audio levels and everything are good. So in the meantime, uh, we'll just watch a couple more of these random commercials. It always starts with the 3DO one, which I'm going to try to see if it can randomize it from then on. But uh, yeah, we'll start at about the five minute mark. We're about two minutes in. system from Panasonic. Only Atari makes the world's most popular home video games. The only space invaders. The only asteroids. The only Pac-Man. The only Missile Command. And soon, the only Defender. And the only way you can play any of them is on a home video system made by Atari. Have you played Atari today? Three out of this world games from Atari, the number one video computer system with more games than any other. Everyone's gone Atari, the number one video game. Hey, a funny thing happened when I started to play Congo Bongo. Hey, these nuts are crazy. Who are these guys? Hey, fellas, let's not get carried away. Oh, no. Maybe I'll go for a swim. On second thought, maybe I'll go for a walk. Hey, lady, this is a one-way street. Hey, that's the guy I've been looking for. Congo Bongo, I'm saying. Cosmic Arc cartridge. Check. Power. Yeah, power. Cosmic Arc is a game cartridge for the Atari video system. Meteor! I got it! The Cosmic Arc searches out strange creatures on distant planets. Beam them up! But the deeper the arc travels in space, the tougher it gets. Beam them up and get back to Earth! Boys, clean your room. We're back. Cosmic Arc by a magic. The video system must be bought separately and connected to the TV by your parents. <laughs> Magic Savings Adventure Sight and Sound Sale. Plug our magic cartridges into your Atari video game system. Then defend Atlantis from marauders. Corral skittish aliens and protect the cosmic arc. Cutting off screaming monsters during the evil attack. Snare our magic cartridges on sale at Venture 2399. Protect your galaxy. Okay, I think we're getting ready to start just now. I'll adjust the volume as we go. But uh, let's start up Dragon Quest.
All right. Well, that's Venture Fourth. Just my audio on my headphones here. I think we're probably at a good volume for the game. Uh, maybe I'll just do an ever so slight adjustment. That's probably good right there. I think it's probably a good balance anyway. Let's get started. So, do I name myself Alex? Or is it, was it Loto was the, the champion? Or do I go with, I'll go with Eric. Oops. I think that was the name that they gave the hero in the original version of the game. Let's go to the fastest message speed. Yeah, that we can leave that the way it is. Erdrick, scion of the bloodline of Erdrick, hero of Lich. Oh, so they do still use it here. Even though this is Dragon Quest 1. Uh. Well, yeah. They're using the translation for Dragon Warrior 1. That's an interesting development here. The Dragon Lord, right. So I chose a good name then. I chose the name of the original savior, which I don't know a lot about Dragon Quest in total. I just remember reading, I think it's the third game you're actually, like spoiler, the secret is the, by the end of the game you realize that you're actually the, it's a prequel and you're the original Eredric. Okay, so it doesn't look like... Okay, so I don't have to, like, press A to search things on, uh, from a different menu or talk. It just auto-talks, like, a modern one. That's good. Uh, wait, what's it say? Come back here once more when you're ready to embark on that quest. Okay. No, I don't. Even though I do. <laughs> is Quaylin is the sole heir, Majesty the King. In the timely death of her Majesty the Queen, Quaylin is beloved ruler... It's a sole source of comfort. As a... Bell monsters stuff it to the people. Okay. I thought he would tell me how much experience I needed and all that junk right there, but I guess you gotta wait. So. I'll say this. Uh, it's probably showing up on the stream as well. But this game's a little choppy. So if I go back, now what's it gonna do? Is he gonna talk to me now? Okay. So maybe it won't let me till I've left town. I don't have any more keys yet. Is that supposed to be, uh, is it Tornico? I haven't heard the rumors. Later, we're running monsters. 
And what happens if I tell them that I do know the rumors? <laughs> Verily, they are shocking, are they not? <laughs> so what do you two have to tell me? through no okay so if I go in here okay pretty standard stuff okay I got an herb he's just sitting there crying Okay, there's something out there. I remember most of this game from way, way back. I know that the the lightning bolt jaggedy sort of uh, space is toxic or, or harmful to you. Do I have anything actually equipped right now? I do not. I do need to go to town and buy a weapon first. Um... Don't have enough for the copper sword. You know what? We're gonna go with a bamboo spear, the cheapest weapon. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. with the shield. Do I have any enough for anything else? I'm playing close. Because we're going to then go outside and fight and save as much as we can to get the copper sword and the leather suit. General rule of thumb in these earlier RPGs is you need to grind until you can afford the best equipment in the town before you move on. Oh yeah, Northwest, that's the next for real town. I don't think... I think this is like a faithful, full recreation. So I don't suspect they would have put a lot of uh, a lot of new things in here. Okay. Yeah, basically harmful ground. What do we got? No, I don't have any money, so that's fine. What do you have to say? <laughs> I think the I think that's in the next little dungeon up to the top. What have you got? I don't even remember what that we've got one of those. I don't know what a dragon scale does. So, who else can I talk to? Oh yeah, so we can't go into, can't go in here just yet. I 
Okay, so maybe now I can talk to the king? I don't remember that ever actually being in the original game. What do you have to say, good sir? Yeah, it's like the last town where you can go, but then you can backtrack and get some cool stuff. So can I save it? Ooh, full map. It looks a lot bigger here than it actually is. Because when you walk, it doesn't take long to get anywhere. Like this game is maybe a ooh, third of the size of the map of like Final Fantasy One. Even though it looks on paper to be similar or the same. So that's that button. Selenius. What does Traveler's Tips do? Okay. And oh, there's a quick save. Cool. So let's do a little fight. We'll probably fight a slime here. Ooh, red slime. Did it say she slime? Now... So I have everything equipped. Okay, that's good. I know it said it was equipping them when I was purchasing, but I wasn't 100% sure. So look, I love how there's like different types of mountains. I th think the max, is the max level 25 or 30 in this game or something? We'll go, we're not getting a ton of gold, obviously, but we'll go till we get a, at least a level or two here. Should be soon, I think. There we go. First level pop of the game. So strength up and HP. Technically only two stats. But strength is very useful at the beginning of the game. We're gonna go see the king and see if he says anything now. Because he should tell us what when we're gonna gain another level. Fifteen. All right, we'll do a proper save. I was hoping I could just sit in the turn around and sit down and pretend I'm the princess there. So 15 experience for another level. See, this overworld theme to me sounds a lot like Umatsu's Final Fantasy style themes of FF1 and 2. A lot of this stuff is very bouncy horn instrumentally stuff but this sounds like it could be right out of final fantasy 2 like the actual 2 with the emperor and everything so that's two down 13 more fights to go to get another level
The only thing this needs is like a fast forward motion to run around and play at like four times speed or something to do your grinding. Because then, you know, we could actually grind to get the the uh, copper sword right away. She slime. Okay. And I think in this first game, I think you can only ever fight one enemy at a time. One, like, you're not going to get encounters with multiple enemies, which can be good. And this, even with like the delay sometimes here with like the battle ending and stuff, it's still way faster than it would have been on the NES. How much money are we sitting at? Well, quite a bit away <laughs> from that copper sword. So we might end up... Hmm. I mean, we got the time. We're gonna be getting close now to that another level. I always call this newbie forest, where you just, you grind until you're no longer a newbie. Or until you think you can go to a dungeon and not have to have too many items to heal or get terrified that you're going to die. <laughs> it looks like they've done a lot to balance this here, because I remember in the original version, you'd still get hit a lot of times the first few levels uh, by the slimes, like they would act before you did. gonna pop us yeah okay this is a good level up and I learned my first spell so I can heal myself and I'm probably 48 gold it's not a heck of a lot And I don't have any magic points because I haven't healed yet. Let's just fight till we get one more level. Uh, then we'll go uh, check what it's going to take to get to level five. And what uh, then we'll go heal so that I can use spells. Funny, once we get this game, well, there's parts of this game where I don't remember everything by heart, um, but once we get to the second game, I've never beaten the second game. 
I don't, and I've never actually watched the second game. I played a bit of the fourth game, and I think I got through that mostly on on the uh, NES. I picked up a copy for twenty bucks back, like in like nineteen ninety nine or two thousand at one point. And I think I played a little bit on was it the DS? But like, it's this game I played. Uh, I touched maybe the first. I did the first opening of Dragon Quest 2 and then I got the party members together and I never got any farther than that. The third game I don't remember ever playing. Uh, the fourth game, I think I got through most of it. Actually, I think I beat that one. I'm, I'm reasonably sure I did the multiple chapters and then we all got together. Yes, I've beaten the fourth one, but I think it was the remake. Um, the fifth game was one of the first games I tried in emulation and I got maybe 20% through the game uh, way back in the day, like 20 years ago. The sixth game I tried in emulation years and years and years, like decades ago, and I only ever was maybe played like an hour of it. The seventh game, I think I beat on PS1, but I had to use a Game Shark. It was just too hard and the, I was so tired of how like, it was, it was kind of esoteric with the puzzles and the design as well as just overall like the encounter rate and the difficulty I had to just level myself up to experience it way back uh, and then Dragon Quest 8 I only ever played maybe an hour uh, of it at one point I think I played the demo that was did it come with a demo for Final Fantasy 12 or what did Final Fantasy 12 come with a demo of it something like that and then um, nine, I completed. I own that on the, that was the DS game. Um, really like that. And then uh, ten, obviously, was never released here. And uh, eleven, I beat and loved. It's my favorite traditional, traditional, purely traditional JRPG. It's like right up there with um, of like Persona Five at the top tier of the last you know, five, ten years. So we did gain a level here. And we learn Sizz. So where are we sitting? Let's go talk to the king. Actually, what does this guy do down here? When I talk to him before, he casts something on me. Oh, he heals me. Did he heal me completely? Yeah. I think so. So what does the king have to say now? 63 points, okay. Well, by the time... the time we are so I need more experience at this point than I've earned all the way up to this point to gain a level I need almost 50% more points yeah let's grind to level 5 we'll do a little I'll tell a, little, a couple little stories or things about these games that I remember and once we finish grinding to level 5 I'll see if we got 94 gold coins we might be close at that point to being able to purchase the, the copper sword and then we'll be probably overpowered for the next area but yeah dragon quest uh 11 fantastic so the ones i know for sure that i've completed from beginning to end is this game in its, its original version so i've beaten one four seven uh one four seven nine and the eleven so once we go through these what we'll do is We'll play one and two on the Switch here because I own those. I purposely didn't purchase the Switch uh, port of three. We're gonna wait for three completely, like till it comes out with the, the HD 2D or 2D HD, whatever it's called, like the Octopath style version. Um, but we're not gonna wait to play the other games. We're gonna see, uh, um, I've got, I've got versions of them on on my 
my DS and whatnot, but we'll probably do an emulated version because I don't have the means to hook up my systems directly uh, and capture out from a portable device like that, uh, even though I own the games, right? So I'll probably do an emulated version and I'll, I won't add any crazy filters or anything. We'll just do it straight up. Um, I'm undecided on which version will, which exact version will stream. Um, maybe we'll do the remakes because they'll be easier. Like uh, the DS ones will figure out how to how to map that on the screen. Um, and if not, we'll do Super Nintendo versions uh, or NES versions. Like, but just whatever. If there's an enhanced patch that lets us go through the game quicker, because we're here to experience the feel and the story, not to do as much grinding. I would rather not do the grinding we're doing here, even. But uh, as far as I know, I mean, I don't have you know, I, I didn't have a hack switch or anything. We've got this is stock everything, and uh, as far as I know, there's no codes. There's no <laughs> nothing that'll make this go faster. But I wanted to play, you know, I know some people say it's this is obvious that they're like, this isn't the best version. The best version was the original, or maybe there's some other version. This is the version I own. This is the version that was three bucks. So that's pretty much what I want. Just gonna take a moment uh, after this. Just gonna pause for a quick wash and break. I'll be right back.
And we are back. And okay, microphone, don't don't misbehave on me. So yeah, I went and refilled. Well, went to the, use the restroom, refilled my bottle of water from the kitchen, and also checked to see what that burning smell I started to smell was right when I was getting up to leave. And I'm like, it's not electronics. It doesn't smell like a fire, but it could be something. I think somebody's burning leaves or something, or somebody was cooking something. And but I don't see any fire trucks, and there's no smoke in here, so it's knock on wood, not anything to do here. <laughs> How many coins do we have? 128. Getting closer. Let's actually go see. Let's actually, yeah, let's go see. Uh, if we fight somebody up here. That's the first cave I know we're going to go into. Because if I remember correctly, the the correct way to go in this game is northwest, then northeast, then southwest, and then southeast, I believe. And that's the that's the correct way to go and make sure. Like I mean, that's the order that the game wants you to go in. Because if you go in the wrong order, you technically can, I think, for the most part, but it's going to cause you a bunch of headaches. I don't know why you'd actually sleep at the inn in the town if that wizard dude in the castle is going to heal you for free. I guess it just pays to make sure you speak to everybody. Where are we sitting at? 146. Uh, if we get the money before we gain the level, we'll just continue uh, to fight till we gain the level, and then we might actually have enough or at least close enough maybe to get the better armor as well. And then we should be able to just pulverize everything. Well, at least everything in this quadrant up to the northwest. And I think the torch gets used up. Like, it, it's not a permanent thing that lights up forever and it slowly shrinks on you. So we'll probably want to get a secondary torch. Or eventually you want to get a few of them. And I think I think you get a, a spell you can cast later on that... Or is it the ball of light that you get? Is that, is that what you get after you rescue the princess? You get a ball of light or something that you can use over and over again. And it actually extends the viewing angle even more to a few squares more. These were some of the aspects that I really didn't care for in Dragon Quest versus Final Fantasy at the time. Um, I, I respect that it's different, though.
I like it when we fight the red or she slimes because you get more gold. You know, it's funny. The interface is you know, a much higher resolution and, and higher pixel density. That They could leave your stats on the screen at all times here. I guess for tradition they didn't, but if it was me, I would have left, like, at the very top of the left of the screen, my stats, and then maybe my gold there at the top right at all times. You could even make them go higher on the screen without having to worry about overscan or something. was probably what, what, what did, wait what did that say 90 i think we're about halfway to that level so if we fight till we get to that level we should have enough gold i think in theory depending on the rng of this uh we'll have enough to get both the weapon and the armor maybe another torch stream i don't know if we're gonna stream the second game after this right away depending on how long this takes us to beat and how many sessions probably do this one all in one we'll see if we can do this all in one game um but we'll see the we might do another pc indie title um or i don't want to start the final fantasy one right away because six is special we'll do that at another time but i'm probably going to stream Octopath Traveler, I'll do the uh, intro, like the demo, where you can carry forward your save data, because I have a digital pre-order of the PS5 edition uh, that'll unlock, I guess, at midnight my time, and we, we might just hop on and stream and play it, like, day one when it starts, and we'll go until I'm tired, <laughs> and uh, that'll be sort of the streaming game for the next couple weeks, where we'll do a few a few sessions a week until we're completed. Okay, so it does show the exact position where you are on there, which is good. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, okay. We got enough for the sword, but we haven't gained our level just yet. We're doing somewhere between five and six damage per attack. So let's see. After we end up getting our new weapon, we'll see exactly how much more damage we're going to do. I'm assuming it's not going to be fantastic because this game is not like Final Fantasy where you get into the thousands. Like a, a significantly huge hit would be like 200 damage in this game. I, I think you can hit it to like 500. 
I think 999 would technically be max, but I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Ooh, he got an attack in first. Uh, all right. We're gonna get a level really soon. Or was it? No, maybe it was. Was it nine? Yeah, it was ninety, I think. So we're gonna be not not as soon as I thought. Oh, we are okay. Oh, wait, is that at that many experience points, or is it? I, I'm confused. Maybe. Oh no, it was sixty-three points. I thought it was ninety. It was sixty-three, and I had I had forty something. Okay. So we do not have enough for because it was seventy, right? For the so. 180 plus 70. So we're gonna go till we have 250 coins. Because buying the other stuff and equipping them and then being able to sell our old equipment might get us enough for that extra torch. So we only need another, what, 10-ish fights. And then we can go. We'll go get our heals from the guy for free. And then we'll go get our... One more fight. Unless it was 90. If it was 90, and I don't want to go on the challenge check, it's no big deal if we just get a little more. We get like 20 more gold. And then the real game can actually begin. So we'll get to around 270. And I'm not keeping, I'm not just pushing the goalpost back every time. I just got to make sure that when we do this, we don't want to have to do a second trip for no reason.
How do you tell a she slime from a he slime? Have we got enough? Something to ponder. So let's heal up and then we'll go to the king and we'll save and he'll also tell us how much more we need. Thank you. Now what do I got? Wait, does he not? Or does he not actually heal you? Oh, I guess, what does he do? Is it just like uncursing me or just... Oh, see, I thought he healed, so I guess we are going to have to... Another 84, we're going to save, though. So, we're going to fight an extra battle. Because... Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Um, because I have to make sure I've got enough to go to the inn. So let's fight, um, let's get an extra 10 gold just in case. I don't even know how much it costs, but that should probably cover it. So we're doing about 10 da or sorry, so we're doing about six damage with our bamboo, uh, what is it, bamboo spear? damage <laughs> let's just let's fight one more red slime one more she slime get some of that extra you know four gold there we go now we can go and first things first let's get the items Yes, I would like to buy. Copper sword. Heck yes. Was 70. Wait, did I already have a bamboo spear? Did they give me one? I just had didn't have it equipped to start the game. Oh, actually, we uh, now it's time to sell the rest of my junk then. Nope, we're good. We're gonna buy whatever that dragon scale is. And we're gonna buy an, one additional torch. So we'll have three. And then we're gonna go, what does it actually do? the hell does it do? All right. I'm breaking me look at my phone. I don't want to actually use it if it like teleports me somewhere. It doesn't look weird. Stop being weird, game. All right. Dragon. Scale. One dragon scale. Um, what does it say here? So 
What does it do? As mysterious powers, it slightly increases your defense by two. Wait, what? So if I... If I use it... What? Oh, it's, it's an extra accessory. Okay. So that was worth buying then. Three gold coins. Okay, that was a lot. That was actually a, a good purchase then for sure. So now, we're just gonna do a quick save. There we go. 14 uh, mana, 33 health. So let's go. And we should be able to just blast through people. We'll go to that cave and then we'll go to the next town. Yeah, we're doing almost double. We're doing like 40 or 50. We're doing like 80% more damage. So if we look at the map, it's showing, it shows every point of interest. There's not a ton in this game. Like, Going from top to bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are fourteen uh, locations that take you off of the map. So now let's use torch. And that doesn't do a lot. I know it will shrink. And I'm not looking at any maps in here. There was something up there it looked like. I am Erdrick, hear me well, bearer of my blood, heir to my destiny. If you should reach the evil island visible from Tangil Source, we will require the three sacred artifacts. Gather them and you will may yet cross to that accursed place and destroy the source of evil as I, as I too did long ago. Before my passing, I entrusted three objects to three great sages. If the fates have been kind, their descendants guard them still. When the evil rules ill, stirred isle once more, gather the hallowed uh, triad and strike a blow for the cause of light. No doubt those of the line of the sages will await you somewhere in the world. Seek them out. The blood of my blood, child of my children, go forth and fulfill your destiny. So now, we're going to see if there's anything else in here before this completely starts to fade on me. I wonder if it's more generous. Because in previous games it was like... Not the most generous thing in the world. I guess that was it. There wasn't any... I thought there was a tablet in there, but that's in the... I think it's over here in the town. We haven't encountered any more enemies. Come on, there should be some slightly stronger enemies here. And we'll go into the town. What have you got to say? <laughs> so, what do you have to say? Okay, so the copper sword, so the iron axe. Eek. Eek. These are gonna cost some cash. Okay, so. So we need. Uh, 
five, sixty, so eight, eleven, sixteen, sixty is what we're gonna need. Fight till we get to another level here. Don't know if we're gonna have enough money to buy. Like, we we'll probably have to return here to buy stuff. But when we're in here, no keys, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Okay. And I don't think that there's anything more up here. I think we have to go to the east. Um, we'll go to the east and we'll go to the top there. I think that's where the first stage dude is. We'll see. I can't remember if it's in that town that we were in, if we unlock it, I think if we unlock the door, you can you get, there's something that's like the proof of your lineage. So we gotta go up and around. This one got up there again. Right oh. Okay. We can't go down there, we don't have enough HP yet. smelling that that burning smell again but the more i smell it the more i'm thinking it's it smells like wood burning like somebody like somebody's fireplace or something but needless to say not a fan of smelling something that i don't understand what it is <laughs> Okay, I think I have to go to that town to the right. Uh oh. This is going to be tougher than I expected. up here? No. Right down there. Down 
down there. There's a thing over there. Okay, okay. We'll go into town here. I think it's... Right here. Oh, they have it right on the ground. I think it's the fairy flute. he got oh so expensive so expensive hmm okay This is the puff puff stuff. Okay, so. Seed of strength. Oh, only one point. Oh well. It's not too bad. Don't think I'm powerful enough to do that yet. I'm gonna buy another torch, though. Oh, and we should get a medicinal herb. And we should get a second one, actually. And we could try... No, we're not powerful enough to do the cave yet. by the keys in the south but we're not powerful enough to go through the bog or rescue the princess yet so mayhaps that was rather close we gained a level. So we're going to go into town and we are going to go to the inn. And we're going to fight outside. Maybe gain a couple more levels before we try to continue on.
Okay, so now we're gonna spell. You can probably get away with another one of those fights. here. Probably can get by with one more fight here. And we kind of have to. save right after this and try to get to town. We were gaining a little more money this way, which is good. We don't know Scorpion, I think, how much HP he has. Got him, though. All right. Should be leveling up pretty soon. We're getting a fair amount of experience out of this. Thank you. 
and I'm wondering, do we get the weapon first? Or do we try to get the best armor we can? All right, level up. So what do we get? Hmm. <laughs> Only one HP. Let's go heal up now to max. Five hundred. of HP. <clears throat> what can we get? Hmm. hmm. What level are we? Seven. I think we should probably go to level ten here. Cut through most of these guys now pretty quickly. Just the skeletons and these dudes right here. The scorpions. I don't think it was the flute, it was it's, it's a harp or something, I think, that brings the Yeah. Still better to use spell on him. We're not gonna go for the best armor yet. I think we're gonna go for that one that's a thousand. Because we'll have to pass through here anyway when we go to the bottom part of the map.
a couple hundred more. Okay, even closer. I'll we'll probably have gained a level by then. I like the design of this. I always did, where they built the town and they put those high mountains around. It's like you kind of would. You put, you'd have enough room for your farming and your forestry around it, but you want to be protected from certain elements or from attack from one side. So I always thought that was kind of neat. Even in the earliest JRPG, they had that. You know, they had some thought put into the map design. It wasn't just willy nilly put anywhere. Okay, looks like we'll be able to get the new armor right soon. What do we have for this battle? Ooh, I don't like that. Well, crap. Oh man, we're not going to have to start over earlier, are we? <sighs> oh, it brought me back to town. Okay. So it didn't game over me. Did I lose my money? I lost half my money. Okay. I mean, it's better than a game over. Damn it. Okay. We're, We're going to do a quick save. Sound like the penguin right now. And we're gonna go southwest. Wait, how do I go over there again? Oh, with the long way, okay. Luckily for this part, like we were overpowering, we were just trying to get extra stuff, right? I 
we have enough we're gonna okay here's what we're gonna do we've lost half of the money so we can't really get the armor but i think we'll have close to enough to get the new weapon which is also sold at the town up here so we'll we're gonna have to be close i think it's 560 or something so we'll do that we'll get the new weapon And in this game, there's no boats or anything either. It's all one island. I think that was introduced in the second game. Five sixty-five or five sixty, right? So we'll unless I'm wrong, but we'll fight here till we get that. Yeah, we're getting the chain mail instead. Wait, did he say he can't get it? Oh, am I full? I am full. Crap. Now nah, we're getting the weapon. Okay. I didn't realize I was completely full. So we are going to sell one torch then. Just so we don't ever completely run out. Yeah, that's going to that's going to cut through people a lot quicker. So It's too bad we lost the money. <laughs> by dying randomly because I wasn't paying attention enough. Uh, but let's go down south and we'll go to that cave down there. I think we're powerful enough. I don't remember everything by heart, but I remember enough. Where are we here? So I gotta keep going down. Don't walk on the poison.
Yeah, we gained a level. That's actually a good level. All right, so what's in this cave here? I don't remember. It's been 20 some odd years, so. Oh, goody. You can now see slightly better. So what's down here? And I uh, don't want to have to look at a map if I don't have to. we got okay so that grinding we did for the first hour was worth it there's stuff down there just all these dead ends, and obviously it's it's going to be a quite small uh, map overall, just with the, such a small viewing area. All right, so can we go down this way? Okay, so my attacks are doing roughly as much as my magic. is over here. Oh, money. Money's good. If I have to end up using the other torch that I've got, I might pause and actually look up the map of, of the level here. Because it's getting bigger than I was expecting. What a oh, crap. No keys. Okay. So I am supposed to come back a fair bit later. I think I am supposed to rescue the princess first. I, I forgot that, but I think, don't I need keys to do that? I think I do need keys to do that. Before we get out of battle, I'm gonna look up a map of this thing because I would prefer <laughs> to be able to do it quickly. Let's see here. Quest one maps on my phone. Um, da, 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 da. Maps, uh, caves, dungeons. So, where am I? Where am I looking? I am not looking at the right spot. Mountain Cave. That's what I'm looking for. Rocky 
mountain. Okay, so. Where's that? Starting point. Where's number one? Number one goes there. So that goes to nowhere. So I have to go to the top left. That can be done. Oh, it's up until the left. That's right. I should heal myself, though. Which requires magic armor. There's another. Oh, so you don't need the magic to get powers. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we'll we'll see what's there then. Apparently, I can go to the next one. Ooh, I don't like that. So that really, literally did nothing. So... Down and up and over. Okay, I can do that. Down... stuff in here. So we'll use that. Drink Papa 2, bonus. And a seed of magic. Let me see here. What else is there in here? We go all the way to the up and to the right. There's two more chests there and then around the top. Okay. Ooh, uh, that was a good roll. So go to the top. And then there's one here. What is a warrior's ring? I don't want to look at that. So what is a warrior's ring? Worn by a warrior who fought at Eric's side. Unlimited uses. Okay, so can I equip it? What? Okay, what did it do if I equip it? So strength is 32 right now.
Wait, but attack 40. I don't know what that changed. Whatever. I'm not even going to pay attention, but it's, we'll figure it out after. <laughs> No, Iron Shield. Do I already have one of those? No. Bonus. No. What else is there for me to get in this dungeon? Torch and some money around the top, and then we have to leave. Okay. There, we'll do the next room. Choker that wasn't on the list of items. What the heck is that? What? I think we're full, so hopefully that hopefully the next um the next chest is the money that it says it is, and then we can go buy buy the axe. Yeah, okay, so now we can leave. Don't do that. So, spells, heal. So now we're back up here. We've got to find our way back to the center and head out. Or can I just, is it the Chimera Wing that... You have to be outside. Right. So, I have to... Do I have to go all the way around? Ew. Alex, don't like that. So, over, down, around. Oh. Okay. Because I don't have, like, an exit spell or anything. So, let's figure this out. This knot's down. Okay, so we'll go to the town at the top. Get us our axe. Go back to the castle, talk to the king, do a full save.
Oh, we got the axe, didn't we? I'm dumb. We got the axe. It's the armor that we need now. Do we have enough for that? We should. Actually, do we have enough space? We do not. We have to sell the shield first, then. Choker. So that I'm looking up what the choker is, because oh boy, that's a Dragon West Choker. It's a cursed accessory. Time the chest in you know, a torch. Chokers, it's, it's, it's cursed. It is. I'm going to equip it as the interesting reason. The bard regards the king out of the status. And then later, remove the curse. It's. Oh, so it's literally just good for selling. I am glad I didn't just equip that. Speak to the king. Actually, before that, we might go to the other town to the right and get the best armor there was, what, 3,000? So we're darn close to that. It wasn't 5,000 if my brain isn't playing tricks on me. Is there anything down there in the, in the desert? No. See exactly how much it was. got a grind for okay it's 3,000 right because there's no point in doing the upgrade to the iron armor if we're this close to the full plate which is like some of the best armor into the game to like way later not close enough that I can just sell the current armor that I'm wearing. So we'll do just a little bit of battling out here.
Okay, so we need about 229 or whatever. Too bad I couldn't have gotten two of those, uh, those chokers there and sold them. And we're at a point where the skeleton's not even really doing a lot of damage to me with the few pieces of armor and accessories we found. Plus a level. Is glow what I think it is? We don't need torches anymore. And I think that makes it... It glows a lot larger, too. Couple more fights with those skeletons will do it. What are we sitting at? Okay. Two more skeleton fights. You'd think the king would give you the best armor in the land for free if you're going to be the one going to save his daughter and, every, and the whole world, basically. So close. So, so close. All right, let's go. Is it? Okay, I know the characters don't have mouths in this game, but when I look at them, instead of seeing a blank mouth, what I see is Super Mario. It's like Mario's nose. Like, it's Mario as if He's an armor in an RPG. I think there's anything that we can get here that's better. We've got all the best armor for the Northern Hemisphere now. actually are going to sell the torch because we don't need it anymore. So what we're going to do is we're now going to spell. We're going to walk back, get whatever gold we can get. We're walking back to the king. Actually, uh... And then Probably going to be a good spot to stop part one here and pick it up uh, again probably tomorrow. Or actually perhaps later tonight too because I'm going to just have to take a break to make some dinner and get some stuff prepped for tomorrow. Doot, 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 doot. I can't remember if there was something in one of the swamps you can pick up. Again, I'll refresh my memory. I'll do some light reading at dinner time and figure this out.
I'd like to see a complete remake, not an HD 2D version of this. I would like to see them just do it from the ground up, give it more story. Give it a real story. With, you know, NPCs with proper dialogue and cutscenes and all that fun stuff. And we got an even 200 gold left over. I am not continuing my quest. I shall, I shall, I shan't. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for hanging out. I'll be back. Oh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be later tonight. But uh, if not later tonight, if you don't see me on here, then it'll be sometime tomorrow. I've got errands to run in the morning, but I'll be back. And uh, this was fun, nostalgic trip with... You know, I still think it's better graphics. I know that not everybody's a big fan of the iOS ports that went to Switch, but I still think it's better than uh, going with what, uh, <laughs> trying to do an emulated version of the original game. But yeah, thanks for sticking around. Uh, part one's done, part two, we'll see how it goes. I thought I would do the whole thing in one session, but I forgot that it takes a little longer, even though it's a shorter game. So this might be broken up into, you know, two, three, maybe even upwards of four parts over the next week or two. <laughs>